Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Sunday and welcome back. Okay, <laughs> I cannot believe it has taken me this long to review this candle because I have had this now for months and I was actually kind of hesitating burning it because it's such a unique scent and really the only way right now that I can get more of this particular scent is to buy more of it in this particular format, which is obviously in the beautiful pumpkin ceramic. This candle, by the way, is still available, but it wasn't released this year. This was, I guess, a quote unquote leftover from last fall season. And um, I cannot believe that it hasn't sold out yet. I really, mm, I don't want to order, I don't necessarily need another ceramic pumpkin, but I know that I won't be able to throw it away. I guess I could gift it to someone, but I just want more of this scent. <laughs> so the particular scent you're getting in here is the Amaretto pumpkin. It was at one point released in a two pack of the traditional um, four wick candle that Harry sells. And then when he brought it back, he brought it back in the ceramic hair. I would kill. <laughs> I wouldn't kill. That's like, that's a really, um, I guess, bold statement <laughs> and unnecessary. You don't need to kill anyone for a candle. But I would really love to see this particular scent make a comeback just in the candles because now that I actually know how good it is, I would buy... I would buy a few. It's really nice. <laughs> it is that good, you guys. Um, I think there were several people out there, um, specifically Mika, if you guys know who Mika is from Instagram. She hauls candles like it's going out of style. I love her for it. She is, she is amazing when it comes to purchasing candles that she loves. She just goes for it. She just buys all of them. <laughs> I bet she still has a pretty decent stash of the Amaretto pumpkin because she loved that scent from what I remember. Anyway, you guys, let's get into the scent description because this is still available. I will link it in the description box down below. Um, if you are wondering about this base right here that the candle is sitting on, um, I will link the Hurricane. Um, this does come with a like a glass shade. I have it off just for the review here, but um, it's the hurricane that I mentioned in my video earlier this morning. So if you missed that, I will put a link in the description box down below for the video, as well as where you can find this particular hurricane. Um, it's it's a really beautiful one and it works really well. But um, let's get into this scent description here. Obviously this candle is not lit because I wanna show you guys how it is burning in the ceramic. It's burning beautifully. Um, and I wanted to be able to show you the ceramic with the lid on. So obviously I can't have it lit for that. Okay. Scent notes. Let's get into it. Amaretto creme, spiced pumpkin, cardamom, and tonka bean. Okay. First off, <laughs> this smells so delicious. I think the, the very first time this came out, what turned me off was the amaretto note. I have to admit that sometimes when Harry does boozy scents or candles or fragrances that have a like booze or alcohol note to them, I get a little nervous because I don't always like those notes in my candles, especially mixed with a gourmand like this where it is predominantly kind of a pumpkin spice type scent. I just didn't want it to ruin the pumpkin part. Uh, it doesn't. This is amaretto, but without the boozy note. It's like you're just getting, this is going to sound dumb, but amaretto without the alcohol. <laughs> I don't think that's possible. Let me know if there is some kind of virgin amaretto out there. Um, I've never smelled it. Uh, but it just has that beautiful, it's almost like, gosh, what is amaretto? Is it like, uh, is it hazelnut? No. What is amaretto? Okay, we're going to do a quick Google search because I looked this up at some point here. Sorry, bear with me. Amaretto. Uh, it's giving me, ooh, recipes. <laughs> 
What is amaretto made of? Here we go. Um, it is almond. That's why. It's made from either apricot pits or almonds or both. Um, yeah, amaretto is Italian for a little bitter. And there is a slight bitterness to amaretto, like when you smell it, like if you have a cocktail with amaretto in it, there is a slight bitterness to it, but not in an offensive way. So anyway, yeah, you are getting that like almond type note in here. It's almost like they just removed the booze from it though, which sounds like it's not possible, but it is, just trust me. It, this doesn't smell like you're gonna get drunk off of it. Let's just say that. The spiced pumpkin that's in here is really nice. Um, I would c probably call it just borderline kind of generic pumpkin spice. Not in a bad way, but just that very classic like pumpkin pie filling type of scent, um, but creamier, um, almost like it's whipped, if that makes sense. Um, it's just so good, you guys. Uh, cardamom. I smell that cardamom in here. If you've never smelled cardamom, it is a little nutty. It has a slight smokiness to it, but it's also a sweet type of scent. Um, so nutty, spicy sweetness. Does that make sense? Um, you do get that in here. And then that tonka bean. Tonka bean is somewhat, I, I don't quote me on this. I feel like that I heard that tonka bean was in the vanilla family, but it doesn't smell like vanilla. It's kind of its own separate thing. It has a muskiness to it but that doesn't translate there there's no muskiness to this candle it just smells like a maybe like a smokier vanilla if that makes sense like heavier and not as sweet i will say this is not the sweetest candle the sweetest like gourmand type candle that i've ever smelled from harry but it does have sweetness to it it's just not your typical gourmand scent at all it's really, really nice. It smells delicious. It smells edible. Like if this were a cocktail, oh man, that would be an amazing cocktail. Um, oh gosh, if someone could please bring me that drink right now. It just sounds so good. <laughs> Imagine like the perfect fall cocktail. Like this would be it. They would use amaretto as the booze in it and then like those pumpkin pies. I don't know how you would infuse pumpkin into a cocktail, but I'm sure there's a way to do it. I am not a bartender. But you guys, I wanna tell you about the burn of this because I find that these ceramics retain the heat really well. And so they typically burn extremely well for me. This one is no exception. I'm gonna take you guys over so that you can see how far down I am. By the way, there is a nice, do you see that little cutout right there? There is a lip on the top that helps you align this. So if you get it kind of off kilter, um, if you just go around until you, until it kind of like locks in place like that, um, that's how you know the lid is properly on here and all the little designs like connect and all that jazz. Anyway, let's take a look at this thing. There is the tiniest, tiniest like bit of residue right here. There's just these few little drops here. But look at how well this is burning. The wax is still super white, um, same as the day that I got the candle. The wicks are not too thick. They don't seem to form much in the way of mushroom tops. I do trim them ever so slightly, not a ton. Uh, Alfie? Where is that little turkey? Oh, he's, don't worry, he's just doing something wrong. <laughs> we'll get him later. Um, so yeah, I do trim these wicks, not a ton. I just take the little nib off the top. And you guys, this has been burning like a friggin' rock star. There is no soot, there is no like discoloration here. It just is, it's great. Oh, I love it. Stick this back on here. Where's the little lip? <laughs> found it so yeah no complaints I, I i do think i'm probably gonna order another one of these i would just love to have this around for the holidays as well now the fact that it's in the pumpkin isn't super exciting for me because i don't have my pumpkins out during the holiday season like when i go christmas decor it is all christmas there is not a hint of fall in my house at that point 
So that's the only thing that makes me a little bit hesitant to grab another one of these, um, but I could also just grab another one for next fall. But then again, he could also come out potentially with the Amaretto pumpkin scent again and the four wick. I just, I don't know. I don't know, you guys. What do I do? <laughs> I'm a little torn. Clearly, I'm a little torn. Um, the strength in the throw, by the way, I don't think I mentioned that. It's pretty solid, and it might be that this bad boy has been sitting since last fall, um, so it is definitely fully quote-unquote cured. Um, so, sorry, the dogs are fighting over a bone, and that's what you hear clanking in the background, <laughs> is them dropping the bone on my feet, of course, because they have to argue right at my feet. Um, uh, oh gosh, brain fart. Sorry. Oh, strength and throw. Um, solid, solid seven in terms of strength, solid seven in terms of throw. And I don't need to put the hurricane shade on this. Like it's it, just on its own. It's a solid seven for both strength and throw. So, um, I have it in my family room. It fills that entire family room so beautifully. Um, it also travels out like into the kitchen here. It travels towards the entryway. It doesn't travel upstairs, which I'm okay with because it's honestly kind of far away from the stairs. Um, oh my God, you guys. Knock it off. This is what I'm dealing with. Sorry. Anyway, good strength, good throw. And I think I'm gonna leave it here. The dogs, uh, I think, need a little, um, I don't know, entertaining, distraction, I don't know. They're, it's almost one o'clock, so it might be their witching hour here. Um, let me know if you have any questions about this one. I will link it in the description box down below. Uh, it's two thumbs up. I just, I don't know. If you know what this smells like, you know how delicious it is. And um, I just, I can't say enough good things. I think the ceramic is beautiful. I'm gonna clean this one out and use it as a cookie jar for next fall season. These are great cookie jars, by the way. They're really easy to clean out when you're all done. You just, um, during the last burn, usually the glue loosens up the wick clips on the bottom enough for you to be able to pluck them out with tweezers at that point. I would suggest plucking them out right as it's finishing up and then you just wipe it out and then you just wash this with warm soapy water several times and you can easily reuse this as a um as a cookie jar it, it works great for that um i have reused other ceramics as cookie jars as well and they're super cute right so anyway uh hopefully this was helpful let me know if you have any questions check that description box and i'll see you in the next one take care